Welcome to Higher Level Gaming. I'm Rob, and today we're talking the two biggest battle royale games, Apex Legends and Fortnite. Now, as many of you already know, Apex Legends recently got a brand new map to replace King's Canyon, and that map is called World's Edge. This map has a fire and ice theme, which is pretty interesting. Game of Thrones just ended, lol. And also Fortnite has a fire and ice theme. So you could say that this map is kind of a ripoff of the Fortnite map. And one other similarity is, like the Tilted Towers part of Fortnite, this map of Apex Legends has a lot more tall buildings, which is really added to the verticality of the game. Although many of those buildings cannot be fully explored, which is kind of unfortunate in a battle royale game you would hope that they would all be filled out but they are actually not that was one of the few ways that i was disappointed with this new map as it's actually extremely fun to play there's even a train that is going all around the map that you can land on and have take you to different parts of it which is definitely new to the battle royale genre so as soon as Apex dropped this new map, they saw a big tick in players and even top Fortnite for much of the day that it was released. But we now have information that actually that was because EA went crazy with the sponsorships. Not only did they get the already big Apex players like Shroud, but they also hired over 20 streamers from a variety of backgrounds to play it on Tuesday night. They had over 20 streamers, and they're not even all FPS game streamers. Like, one of them was a World of Warcraft player. There were former Overwatch players who also came in. And all in all, it was just very obvious that they were making the biggest push possible, EA that is, with paying as many people to stream it as possible to really ramp up the player base. But regardless of them paying a bunch of people to play it, it's also just seen a huge increase in play, and it got a lot of attention from games journalist websites as well. As far as my thoughts on the new map, like everybody else is saying, you know, I'm gonna say it again, there's a lot of verticality, not just with the new buildings, but also with one part of the map where there's like these box cars hanging in the sky and they're filled with loot and they're all connected by zip lines and then there's like a little map to fight on underneath it it's really cool there's also a thermal station on the map and a section called the epicenter which is where there's a bunch of ice and like a glacier that was like clearly exploding out of this central uh base the world is made of lava now so that's hot my graphics card, it also turned into magma while loading in for the first time. There's also ice because of course there is. I mean, it's really graphically well done though. Like the ice in Gears 5 is what I would more, most closely compare it to. Games have come a long way when it comes to rendering ice, man. This is groundbreaking stuff. Really pushing the format. Honestly, the map is kind of derivative if you think about it. Fortnite has already had the fire and ice thing, but this map does shine in its own ways as Apex Legends does. There's a lot more maneuverability in this game compared to something like Fortnite in the way that you can run and slide on the map. And then also in the form of bungee zip lines, a new train car, and of course the redeploy lines that there have been already. You've been watching some gameplay footage of me playing it, probably dying, but whatever. The game has also added the newest playable character, Crypto, because the name Bitcoin was already taken. That's Gibraltar's nerdy lesser known cousin, for those of you that don't know. Never to be left out though, Fortnite is now about to start its newest season, and speculation is that this new season will be featuring a brand new map. Data miners, the heroes of modern gaming news, discovered a leaked loading screen. Ooh. And in this loading screen, it's hinted that the entire map is being redone. You know, there has been a flaming comet in the air for a few months. I mean, someone should probably check that out by now. New locations include names like Camp Cod, like the Call of Duty, or Dirty Socks, wait, no, Dirty Docks. Mountain Meadow, should have done Mountain Dew, missed opportunity. Slurpy Swamps, Sunny Shores, and Weeping Woods. 
So it looks like we will still have some kind of body of water in the game, and the woods are coming back, which was always one of my favorite spots in Fortnite, so that's kind of cool. Lastly, another leaked loading screen appears to show that the battle bus is traveling away from the iconic island, with many iconic Fortnite skins waving goodbye. Now this one, this one makes me feel like, holy shit, we are definitely getting a new island. Also, it looks like Rift Guy was finally able to get with Bright Bomber, so congrats bro, you made it. What do you guys think? New island? Let me know in a comment down below. The game has a lot of big changes in store besides the map, and there's a new method of matchmaking already that pairs players based on skill level, and it's across all platforms. This has been a controversial change, and it affects how the best play for sure, as well as anyone who's playing on phone or Switch, because they could be playing against people on PC, and that's a clear disadvantage that you can't really argue away. It doesn't matter how good you are, you're not going to be able to play as good with someone with way better resources, graphics, and performance. There's also going to be bots if you're really trash at the game. You'll see less and less as you get better, but that's fucking hilarious, and unfortunately, I'm probably going to be playing against just bots for a while. Pros may not like these changes, but it will make things more approachable for the rest of the millions of people who drop in every day. And like my fallen mech brethren, RIP, the casuals will benefit from these changes. Ninja, however, has already criticized the decision, saying skill-based matchmaking hasn't that, like, never worked, and good players don't always want to play against good players. It's definitely going to make for less interesting, epic content with pros like Ninja who just chomp through hordes of noobs every day. And in the end, that might be a change that gets reversed if it hurts the game's bottom line. Because less viewers means less players and less money. Papa Timmy don't like that. No, no, no. Even though Fortnite is still the biggest battle royale game, its revenue has gone down by about half since last year. I think the most metal thing to do would be take this the end event, which now has a countdown timer at Dusty Divot by the way, forgot to mention that earlier, is to just have this event end the game, because that would be pretty epic. Just end Fortnite right now. I, I don't want it anymore. Now the last bit of news is a bit of a spoiler for the end event, so you might want to click off now if you don't want to hear it, but one person who is a data miner says that players, trees, and tomatoes uh, I don't know why tomatoes, but they're all going to be sucked into zero point, which is I guess like a black hole, where after being sucked in, a currently encrypted UMAP will appear and be used for the new cinematic for season 11. So basically, you're going to load in, you're going to go to the event, and then all of a sudden you're going to be transported to a brand new map, which is pretty sick, and I'm definitely going to show up to see what happens. What about you? Let me know if you're going to show up to see the new Fortnite map, and let me know what you think of Apex Legends new map while you're at it. If you made it all the way to the end of the video and you enjoyed it, you can subscribe and hit the bell to always find out when we post gaming news like this, or you can check out some of our other news videos. We also do a lot of gaming politics and have a lot of politics news videos, so check out our channel. You can also like this video, it really helps. But whatever you do, don't forget to have a nice day and go play some video games.